Oh, uh, news coming in from Milnerton. Four alleged extortionists have been killed by the Western Cape Police in a shootout there. This was in Cape Town. Firearms and rounds of ammunition have also been seized. Let's take you live to the scene now, and that's where we find ENCA reporter Nobesu Tuhejana. Uh, she's just arrived a short while ago on the scene. Nobesu Tu, what's the update this hour? Well, Masekho, it's still an active scene here in Phoenix, a heavy police deployment around as uh, the vehicle with bullet holes that has been now uh, lifted on this um, uh, vehicle will be taken for evidence. We do know that police acted on a tip-off on this particular incident, and uh, we'll also be speaking to the police commissioner, uh, General Patekile, just to talk to us about what happened here and the motive um, of what they are currently investigating. Uh, PC, we understand you acted on a motive. Tell us about the circumstances surrounding this operation. Well, good morning to you, Nobesutu, and the viewers out there. The police were following an intelligence tip-off that was about a group of uh, uh, extortionists that were operating here in the Nun area and they were busy collecting and going to have some attack on other groups. So they followed the group and attempt to, to stop them so that they can search the vehicles for allegedly they were carrying firearms. And then they, when they realized that they are, they are being, for the city the police, they started speeding off and then the police chased they gave a chase and in that chase then we end up where we are and they started firing they're from the vehicle this vehicle that is now in the, in the back of ourselves they started firing to the police and the police then fired back in an attempt to ensure that they they, they ward off the attack these are the kinds of reports that we need to see more because frankly, South Africans are very tired of crime. It is constantly has been growing over the past years and it has been getting more and more violent and more people have been getting involved in crime. And when I talk about crime, we're not just talking about white collar crime and blue collar crime, but with the blue collar type crime, it has been getting more violent and life threatening for many citizens of South Africa. So this kind of a report is something that I personally very glad to actually see. And unfortunately, lives are lost in this case. But <clears throat> who's to say these people that whose lives are lost have not caused the loss of life for other people? And this may come directly by them being violent, or it may also come from the fact that they extort small businesses and these small businesses also feed uh, families that need the money that these businesses provide for. And mind you, with these very small informal businesses, they don't make that much money. Bigger businesses have been closing down and therefore people are losing employment on top of a problem that we have with unemployment in South Africa. And then we have people coming in to make things worse for all of us. So for me, this is a glimmer of hope because lately we've been seeing more reports coming in from KZN of what the SAPS is doing in KZN. So seeing the Western Cape having these reports or this kind of a report coming out, for me, it is, I think, a step in the right direction. Unfortunately, one would say that this is unconstitutional based on the constitution of this country, but these criminals are getting more and more confident. And the reason I believe they are so confident with committing crimes, I've said in previous videos as well, is the fact that the consequences are not scary for them at all. And therefore, they will be confident in committing crimes. Because if I say, for example, slap someone and then this person, maybe I'm protecting myself, but they are the first person to go to the police station and open a case against me. And then it's a case of them versus me, one having to prove the other. And if I'm proven guilty for just slapping this person, the punishment for me is going to be jail. But the punishment for the very violent criminal who, let's say, murders two or three people, sometimes even more. The punishment that this person is going to receive is also jail time. And these criminals have done a lot of jail time. They keep going back and then they come out, they go back, they come out. And because they are very comfortable in prison, they also are very comfortable with committing crimes outside. 
So seeing a report like this, I think we are stepping in the right direction. And for many people, they actually don't like or to hear that people are getting killed by the police. But here's the thing. These criminals open fire first. They point guns at criminals. And if you are pointing a gun at a, uh, at, a, at a police officer, it means that you are not afraid to go into battle. And in your mind, you think that the police are just going to run. Because again, going back to the constitution and the law of this country, criminals are supposed to be arrested and not killed. So we have seen too many times police officers being unable to apply necessary force that is required to actually start working or start working on the crime that we have. I don't think that we can 100% get rid of crime in South Africa. Not, not yet. And even if we get to a point where the crime is very, very low, and where South Africa becomes a much safer country, getting rid of crime 100% is probably impossible. But, but, criminals need to think once, twice, and then think the third time before they do any crime because they understand that the consequences are going to be dire. When somebody has a gun, they have to think too many times very rationally before they can use that gun against anyone because they know that if they get caught, if they get caught and not shot by the police, the consequences will be very, very dire for them. And this is where I think the conversation of amending the constitution in South Africa based on the law enforcement has to be done. We have to have that conversation and we have to come out with better solutions because clearly the solutions that we have at the moment have not been working. And some of these solutions that we have, if you read these acts, they are very old acts. The country's constitution is too strict to even allow law enforcers to do their job. So for me, I think this is positive news Although the negative side of this is that, unfortunately, lives are lost. And what tends to happen with some of these kinds of criminals, they actually have families that they take care of through this crime. But that is not an argument for defending them, and that is neither a justification for them committing crimes. Because there's many people in South Africa that struggle that could also be committing crimes. I'm also one of the people that could be committing crimes because I can see holes almost everywhere in all walks of life where this is potential haven for a criminal, not even a violent criminal. But what do we do as upstanding uh, citizens? We decide that we are going to struggle, but with our struggle, we are going to apply our minds, we're going to apply our bodies, put our bodies in, in, in the line and make a living for ourselves. Sometimes the living that we make is not even that comfortable, but it is better than the alternative and the alternative being committing crimes. So we can't work hard and in such trying times. After working so hard in such trying times, we have someone that just comes in and extorts the money that we make or they just steal the possessions that we have attained. I can only imagine right now I'm shooting from my shop if some people would come in armed in with Uzis, with pistols and Kalashnikovs, and these people threaten me saying that every week I must give them a certain amount of money. If not, the situation or the consequences for that are going to be difficult for me. And if that happens, it means that I am left unable to make a living for myself. And it means that I'm, able to, I'm unable to grow this business to the point where I can actually, as a father, take care of my daughter in a way that I would like to take care of her financially, from a financial perspective. Because obviously it's not just about the finances when it comes to parenting, right? But parenting plays a big, I mean, finances play a very big role in that. And criminals coming in and actually mitigating my ability to make a living, a comfortable and honest living. It means that they're not just taking food away from my mouth, they potentially are taking food away from my child's life as well, or my child's mouth as well. So I say big up to the Western Cape SAPS, and I'm happy to see another commissioner of another province putting in work, not just it being Unklantlam Kwanazi. And I hope, I really hope that 
this man that we just saw, I didn't get his name. Wow. Okay. I'll, I'll just leave the name here in the video. But I'm very glad to see this person speaking with the media directly and also being on the ground. And I really hope that this is not the last of this kinds of reports. And not only that, I really hope that this is not just show to the masses or the citizens to say that, oh, I also can do it, whereas they're not really passionate about doing it. Because that would also just be counterintuitive. So it's good to see. I'm glad to see this. Um, I guess RIP to the criminals, but in all honesty, good readings to rubbish, right? So yeah, let me know what you think. Let's have a conversation. I will see you in the next video. Salute.